Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing another Flash game today. We're doing Storm the House 3. It's just a simple point and click game. One of the classics, you know, just like defend the house. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's hit play. And of course, let's buy the Legends Armor Games. Absolute classics. So we're going to go ahead and just go on easy so we can actually progress a little bit. Play, campaign. And it's simple. There are days we have a gun, we get money, we upgrade. And we defend the house. It's quite literally as simple as that. Um, yeah, just classic flash game. Gotta love it. These again, this is the type of things that I played as a kid. Because every family had some crappy family computer. And this game does not particularly take a lot of power to run. Everyone had a everyone played flash games at school, at home. Just classics. This this was the time of my life, carefree, you know, had nothing to do other than play stupid games on the internet. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I want to just be able to get far enough where I can maybe unlock like the bigger weapons, just so I can feel proud of myself for getting the big weapon in a random flash game. It's usually how things go, right? Okay, and I know the level ends when the sun hits the bottom here so right now obviously it's very easy there's just not that many enemies but very very quickly enemies will kind of start flooding this whole area so it won't be long won't be long okay so here is our first screen here and we can buy ammo accuracy reloading for each of the guns i have you know i have to actually buy the guns i also have towers that i can buy then there's the repairman if i get damaged the wall and then the gunman so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna buy one gunman we're gonna what are these two thousand two thousand six thousand let's go and buy the uzi the uzi is actually like a really good investment very early on and then let's buy a little bit of ammo, a little bit of reload. Because we're actually going to be using the Uzi for quite a while. It's really nice because its accuracy is fairly good. Especially with the first shot. Its accuracy is very good. So, I guess, uh, to be completely transparent, I did play this game last night. Um, most of the Flash games that I play, except like the obvious, like, like PG games. I try to do the day beforehand in case I'm like, uh, is this suitable for YouTube? Will I get like, was, does this break some community guidelines or something? Um, and yeah, so I, you know, I double checked the game. I'm like, is this like too violent? And I'm like, well, technically it's the same thing I do in Counter Strike. Um, so shouldn't be. But, um, yeah, so I played a little bit. And I tried a couple of the guns. That was, that was my point there. Um, and some of the guns look really, really good, but they're actually a little trash. So I have to... I'm going to save up for the guns that I think are worth it, but I haven't tried many of the guns. I literally tried the Uzi, and I tried a couple of the big heavy machine guns. That's really about it. So... I know one or two guns to potentially just avoid, you know? Okay. Here we go. How much we had to spend see like this gun was actually pretty trash oh i see buy and then i have to drag it okay i see i see so plus 90 at 90 percent value oh i can actually sell it okay that's pretty sick uh, let's start day three so let's see i want to see does it only push over let's kill some of these in the back does it only push the people in its lane? Okay, no, don't damage my thingy. Okay. So I guess it just tends to slow them down near the end. Fair enough. Well, we'll sell it later, if need be. I feel like the more expensive towers are really the ones that are gonna be useful, but we're not gonna be at the we're not gonna be able to get those for quite a while. We need, we need to get to the later rounds where we get a lot more money to do so. So, definitely the first couple days are going to be pretty simple. I, They're not hard, but it's going to get hard for sure. Like, don't underestimate the game. It'll get hard. 
Because that's kind of what I thought last night, too. I'm like, oh, this is kind of easy. And then I got to some of the higher days, and I'm like, oh, um, people are starting to catch up, and I actually did lose. So, obviously, you have to lose at some point, but, yeah. Things aren't completely hunky-dory. I just gotta not let them overwhelm me. That's gonna be the thing I'll have to focus on. Okay. We're gonna upgrade our wall. I think that's pretty important. Hire second gunman. Is this better? I think this might be better. Okay, so we'll have to save up for those, and then I wanna save up for this gun. So let's go ahead and not buy anything. I wanna save up for five. First things first, I wanna save up for 5k to get um that machine gun. That's my first deal. And then we'll save up for the towers. And then maybe we'll try to save up for something like a flamethrower or some of the bigger guns. But those are going to require quite a bit of money. So, for those ones, it's going to take a little bit of work. But yeah, and if you guys are wondering about as far as like strat and why I'm doing these small bursts, so you could see when I shoot the hitboxes gets bigger and then you end up missing a lot of bullets but it's actually better to just aim click with the first with the first bullet because the first bullet accuracy is much much better but if i just do this it's going to be a lot harder to hit people and you'll notice that later when we have a lot of people on screen is that you can do this but you don't tend to get as many hits as you think you would you know because that's what i thought the, when i played last night I bought the big machine gun and I just assumed I could just do this and I'll be fine. But that's not really the case. When you have a whole lot of people on screen, a lot of them tend to get through. Then you have a 10 people pile up over here and then you're in trouble. So, okay, let's go ahead and just, you know, we're not going to even do a single thing. Let's go ahead and I want to save up for the, for the scar, but I also want to save up to upgrade it a little bit, you know. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just... I don't think we're at the point where we're going to have trouble for still a little while. So we're, we're fine to just kind of linger around and not do anything nuts. And this fan is a little bit of a... You know, even if they get a little close, especially now, they'll get slowed. So I'm not too worried about it. We're about halfway done. Yeah, and I might even... We can definitely sell that fan and recoup a little bit of the money, which is also nice. I don't know if it's sell value. Oh, I was like, who just hit my building? That was just our own little gunman. Um, I don't know if the sell value of the fan goes down over time. That's something that I don't know. So if that is if it if it's lower than 90 now, we'll definitely sell it right now just to recoup some of that money. But we'll we'll have to see. I don't know how that works. Now we're almost done. Oop, okay. These are kinda cool. Okay, well let's first let's just get this. Um let's get some ammo. And then let's eat. let's just upgrade it a little bit. Okay, so this should be now a real good gun. Yeah, yeah, this this is a good gun. And I'll definitely have to I'll pump some money into its accuracy because that seems like a not very important trait. But when I'm just shooting like this, come on, phone. I need to turn my volume down on the phone. When you're shooting like this, it's actually super important that its accuracy is real good. Then also ammo is always super important. But now I think our gun is good enough to where we can survive for quite a while. So we're gonna go ahead and save up for see right there, totally missed him a million times. We're gonna go ahead and save up for a tower. Or actually a couple of towers. Okay, yeah, I'm lagging a little bit. I picked up my phone. Oh, okay, they're actually gonna not even get close because I'm just simply better. I check my phone, make sure I didn't get an important message. Okay, just another school email. Thank you, school, for reminding me of your existence every second of the day. Alright, we're going to get a little overwhelmed here. But I'm not going to let him. I 
There we go. We only lost a single point of health from that one dude with a stick. Why would you do that, man, with a stick? Okay, 4,000. Hmm. Oh, what we can do is we can go ahead and um, sell that. Let's go ahead and buy Joe. Everybody loves my boy Joe. And we'll save up for this and for this. I definitely think this protective generator is actually fairly useful. Because once you get into the higher levels, it's going to be inevitable that people are going to start damaging you. And just having that little bit of less attack is going to be pretty like important, actually. Even more than just damaging them. Again, because I could buy a bunch of towers that do a bunch of damage, and that's cool. But I'm inevitably going to get hurt. And when that happens, I'd rather just take less damage. So, we're going to definitely buy that. Because for the most part, I'll be able to take care of things with my gun. That's like the plan here, is that hopefully I won't have to rely on the towers too, too much. I wonder, can I buy five Joes? Is that also like a strat? You know, I also wonder, are the guys up top also going to get flamed? So, you know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to leave a couple of guys up at the top here. Let me see, do they get flamed too? Okay, no, it's really just the guys at the bottom that get flamed by Joe. See, in that sense, I don't know, is Joe even worth it? Also, can I buy another Joe? Looks like I can just buy another Joe. Hmm. Let's go ahead and buy this, I guess. Can I put it... Okay, so there's that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and upgrade. No, let's actually go to the gun. Let's get it. Reload and accuracy. Yeah, let's keep doing the accuracy here. I think the accuracy is fairly important, actually. Okay. I think we're good on the accuracy, though, now. I probably won't upgrade the accuracy anymore. It looks like we're pretty good on it. I'll probably end up just getting more ammo for it, because that seems like that's would be the next logical step, but I'm also, we just want to save up for that one tower, too. And I actually might even end up selling Joe. I actually don't think, I don't know why I assumed that Joe would be like, super powerful, and he's kind of not. So, also maybe have to save some money for repairs of the building. I don't have too much damage yet, so I don't really want to worry about it just yet. But that's definitely something we got to keep in mind here. Although, I think the repairs really aren't that expensive. It might be like $100, $200, which comparatively actually isn't that bad. And I feel like I need to buy more guns. And then, the thing is, it's that's wasting a lot of money, but I also feel like I actually, I don't know the meta. Like, I don't know which guns are actually like, holy crap, why didn't I try this before? So, I don't know. I'm debating whether to just try to get far, or to like, experiment and actually try to find what's good. Okay, tower, let's see. Let's see how this works. Let's see if that works at all, and if it, it is good, then maybe we'll sell Joe here. We'll see. Let's see, how does this work, and how close do they need to be? Okay, we finally get the cars. Yo, that thing is kind of nuts. Okay, I think I'm going to end up replacing Joe and buying another one of those things, because that thing is kind of bonkers. But it doesn't kill everything. It, it knocks down a couple of things. <gasps> oh, no. I had to reload right when that thing came up, which is kind of unfortunate. And I'll definitely have to buy some more HP for the house itself. So we're a little low on HP. So I'll, up I'll upgrade the actual bunker itself. And destroy these. 
Yeah, that thing is kind of nuts. Definitely, I'll, I'm gonna replace Joe with that thing. Yeah, man, I like that thing. That little missile firing thing, that... Because the there is another tower, but that one said that it destroys the toughest enemy, but we don't get a whole lot of tough enemies right now. Most things are still one shot. So if we have to invest in that later, we will, but right now it's not particularly needed. Maybe I buy a few more gunmen too. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's sell Joe. I'm sorry, Joe. Towers. Huh. 8,000. I feel like I should at least try it, right? Well, either way, I know this thing is good, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy another one of those. Guns. We're good on guns. We can... Let's upgrade the wall. Let's buy a repairman. That might be actually a good idea. Buy two repairmen. Let's buy a couple more gunmen. Let's upgrade the wall. Maybe we can save... Ooh, let's buy some ammo, actually. Okay. I think that's that's good i think i think we made very logical investments there a couple of repairmen a little bit more ammo more of these explosive thingies because see that's not, that, that seems a little overpowered doesn't it but okay see that thing of course got us through okay i think we're doing good we're doing good right now see i always run out of ammo right when the car pulls up so frustrating when that happens it's like man the one second i need the car not to pull up it's exactly when the car pulls up okay yeah i i might also put some more money into the reload of this gun but i also feel like i don't know at what point i just buy another gun you know i feel like this gun is really really good for what how much we paid for it but if we keep pumping money into upgrades But we'll see. Maybe we'll, we'll give another gun a go in a minute once we maybe feel comfortable. But the thing with this game is there's just always something useful to upgrade, you know. There's never a moment where it's like, oh, I have spare money. Like, you, I rarely have spare money. There's things that I could buy. I could upgrade my wall. I could buy more, you know. There's more. There's always things to buy. So it's hard to justify, like, a, just like a random gun purchase for fun. There's things to buy. Okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade our wall again. The, okay, I think we'll leave that wall like that for a while. Let's just try to get a bunch of gunmen here. Yeah, I and mean, can I, I? I don't think I can upgrade anything for four hundred fifty dollars. Okay, so we got a lot more gunmen. I don't know if that was a waste of money, but we did it. So hopefully it pays off somewhat. But this is kind of the point in the game where we're going to start making quite a bit of money. So, like, I'm going to be able to afford a lot more. Can see, we're, we're like, not even halfway done through the day and we already got $4,000. We're going to be able to afford a lot of things very, very quickly now. So, I'm not too, too worried about it. All right, right now, I just got to worry about not dying, really. I'm even tempted to sell that protector and buy another one of these things. Because, man, oh man, are, are they actually doing some damage here? Yeah, like, that's actually kind of nuts. Yeah, like, they're not even getting close, and I think it's mostly because of these towers. So I might even... I might replace the protector with a third... I take back what I said. Maybe I don't need that protection. Maybe I just need to kill things. If they can't get close, they can't damage me, right? So, I don't know. I'll definitely give it a go here. Oh, I don't have the... Okay. Oh, I didn't get to shoot. Sick. Let's go ahead and sell this. Let's buy another one of these, because they're absolutely goaded. What do I do? Do I save up for a gun? Hmm. Do I save up for... Like, this baby focuses... Uh, is there on your feeble? 
Like, that's just, that's gotta be good, right? Let's buy a few more repairmen. And then let's just, let's maybe go a couple of days and just try to save up a little bit of money for them. That might be a good idea. Yeah, we'll see. Ho hopefully we don't get overrun before we can, like, buy something cool. We're doing pretty good right now, so I'm not too worried. But we definitely have to be careful. It's gonna start to get a little crazy up in here. And so far, the car is the only other big enemy we've seen. So I don't know what else the game is gonna throw at me. I haven't seen any other enemy. The car is currently the biggest enemy that I know of. So when something bigger comes along, it'll it'll be a surprise to me too. Yes, at this point I'm almost just like spraying and praying. There's so much stuff on the screen, it'll definitely hit something, right? But these things are helping like a crazy amount. Because they've got such big coverage of the screen, especially with three of them. It's always going to be, like, pretty good. I definitely think they're going to start becoming weaker when we when they start incorporating really, really big enemies. Like, I don't know, tanks or planes or I don't know what else they do. I think definitely then they'll become a lot weaker. I almost feel like I should just save up for 30k here, right? I just think that that's got to be the right choice. This gun has to be nuts. So, you know what? We're actually going to... Let's try to get the 30k and I'm going to buy that big machine gun. I think that has to be the move, right? That just logically has to be the move. So we're going to go for that. Because I'm assuming the things that are, like, highly priced have to be the best, right? So that's the thing that has the highest price. I'm just going to assume that it's probably the best gun. And if I can buy it now, I can slowly upgrade it and do some crazy things with it. Okay, see, they're coming in big numbers now. God, these towers are very useful. I don't think I'd be able to handle these things without the towers, to be honest. Best investment so far in the game, for sure. Like, it's almost just better, better to buy the towers than the gunmen themselves, because the gunmen don't really do much. They kill, like, what, one person every, like, one second? Like, that's not really that helpful, considering how many people are on the screen, you know? Okay, well, we got that 30k. So, we'll, we'll buy that gun now. And we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping that it's good. If it's not good, I'll actually be kind of kind of mad about it. But we'll, we'll have to see when we get there. A little longer. Almost at the end of the day. Okay. Bop. 200 accuracy oh that's some that's bad accuracy i definitely think let's go ahead and just buy a reload i think that'll help let okay let's see how the gun works i guess first things first how trash is it oh all right here's the thing that's really good but what's its reload see its reload time is quite hefty which is also a little scary but we can we can increase the reload time as long as we get rid of most things on screen you know so I guess ooh, can you guys even hear me when I'm shooting this okay I'll just lower down the volume after oh this is a big old gun Yeah, the big difference between this and the assault rifle is I'm not aiming this one. I'm just going at it and hoping that something hits, you know? Okay, 
So, whew. let's definitely, let's go ahead and give it a repair or two here. Upgrade the wall, repairman. Let's get another repairman. Hmm. I think our towers are good. I think we should just focus on maybe upgrading this then. Okay, so that's a, that's actually quite a bit more ammo. I wonder if it's reload is... I think the reload is definitely real important. Let's put in some money on that reload still. Let's maybe buy a few more gunmen. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this gun was a mistake or not. But... I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I just... I need... I need these cars to die. But the problem is the... Rockets don't tend to focus on the cars, which kind of sucks. And especially the startup shooting for the gun takes actually quite a while. So I end up losing a little bit of health when it does that. Those repairmen are doing work though, which is kind of useful. It kind of negates what the cars are doing. Yeah, it's doing a real good job of negating the cars. Okay. I, I actually think the repairmen are kind of goaded here. Let's buy a few more of those repairmen. And let's actually go ahead and upgrade the wall one more time. Next one. Here, let me also turn this down. Jeez, you guys are not be able to hear me. I think next time we'll go for some ammo for it. I think that's definitely the move here. We'll go for some ammo. So let's get some money. And let's get some ammo. Hopefully you guys can hear me this time. Because this thing is very loud. I'm hoping we can get quite far. We're actually already... Like 30 minutes into the video, so... <gasps> what in the world is that thing? Okay, that's the first time I've seen that. I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to kill, because it kind of just flew away. Yeah, I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to kill, but... I also can't really tell, because this machine gun is... Not very accurate, I can't really tell, you know? But, oh well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, this gun is definitely nuts, though. Okay, I think that's all I'm supposed to do. I don't think I'm supposed to kill it. I think I just have to hit it, and then it just, like, flies away. And my other question is, did I maybe not see it? Am I able to upgrade my towers? Is that a thing that I can do? So I'm turning down my volume. Holy... I might actually, I might even turn it down even further. I feel like this is definitely breaking you guys' ears, right? Like, this, this has got to be loud. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn it down even more. Holy mother. Okay. What do... Okay, that upgrade wall is crazy. We could buy more repairmen or gunmen. But I think the important part here is... Let's just increase our ammo, man. That ammo, let's get it juiced up to the point where, like, we don't ever have to stop shooting. All right, let's do it again. And we'll definitely, I think, end up buying more repairmen soon. I think the repairmen are kind of nuts. But yeah, see, if we buy a whole lot of ammo, we just, like, almost never have to stop shooting, you know? And then when we reload, it's not that, it's not a crazy amount here. It's like, we lost maybe 50 health there. Well, our repairmen are going to basically get it right back. That's also why I think it might be important to invest in repairmen after this round. 
Is there, those repairmen are really what's going to keep us alive because we're inevitably, inevitably going to take damage from cars when we have to reload. And now here's my other deal. I'm starting to wonder. I think those towers are still the... <gasps> okay. Something like that we can't let through because I think that will do a whole lot of damage. Okay, but see, but now that's dangerous. If I'm reloading, like right now if the big truck comes through, I'm screwed. So I have to be careful, and I, in a sense, I also have to get a little lucky and hope that the trucks come through when I'm reloading. If not, ugh, it's, it's going to kind of get a little ugly here. But I guess in that sense, if I do get unlucky, I'll just really have to rely on my repairman start repairing quite quickly. Oh, that thing is going to... What did it do? It didn't do anything. Okay, that was a little confusing. Okay. Let's buy more repairmen. I think these are so useful. And then, I guess let's just buy one more gun. Okay. Day 18. I guess we will definitely start pouring money. Maybe we'll upgrade our wall. And then, I think still more ammo for the gun is probably a useful place to put our money to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those repairmen are doing absolute work. Look at that. They're not even damaging me. Yeah, I definitely think those repairmen are definitely the way to go. So now, hopefully, if I get rammed by that big old truck and lose, like, 300 HP, I just instantly kind of get that back. Hopefully. At least that's the plan. See, in this is I need more ammo. I took care of that, but see, they're already get, they're gonna come and get out of your small cars. I don't like you. Also, you Buzz Lightyear flying types. I don't know what you do, but I don't like you. Go away. You guys are mean. Leave my bunker alone. You're not my friend. You're not invited to my birthday party. Get out of here. I got lucky with that one. That I was in the middle of firing when it came. Again, just don't come when I'm reloading. I wonder, do my... Do my gunmen shoot up at the Buzz Lightyear flying ones? I don't know. Okay. I think we're good on repairmen for now. But I'm definitely going to invest in some more. I wonder if I should just upgrade the wall. Or do I just go for more? Mm, let's go for more. Yeah, that's just like we can get so much ammo that it's just we're, we're just never gonna have to stop shooting. And I think that's slightly more important than almost anything else. It's just the fact that. Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's a stronger enemy. Okay, that's the first time we've seen that. We still ended up taking care of it pretty well. Oh, man, these things are going to come. Okay, there's that big thing that... Woo! Okay, I see. Progression and scaling. I'm going to... It's going to start to get a little harder now. See, these reloads are absolutely going to kill me, man. Those reloads are going to kill me. So we'll have to get more ammo so we can stay alive a little longer. But those uh, upgrades are going to get expensive real quick. That's the problem here. So I have to... I have to be smart with how I spend my money now. It's going to it's gonna start to get a little nutter butter in here. Let's shoot down the flying things first. Yeah, that thing takes quite a few bolts, actually. Okay, we're almost done with this day. Woo! Okay, so those things do 100 damage, noted. Which isn't actually as much as I thought it would, surprisingly. And we're kind of already repaired, so... Definitely when we start getting to those crazy rounds where we just get hit a lot. I think these repairmen are like a crazy... I might... I'm almost like tempted to just buy more. Okay, let's... I'm going to splurge a little bit on the reload here. And then, repairmen, 
just a couple of gunmen. I don't think the gunmen help that much, but we're just going to buy a couple since we have a little bit of extra money. Let's see how much quicker the reload is now. Hopefully it's a little quicker. I did put like 30k into it, so I'm hoping it's at least slightly better. Okay. It's definitely slightly faster, but eh. Still not super nuts. Yeah. We gotta we gotta destroy this thing before it gets close. Oh, okay, looks like my towers took care of it. The other thing that I didn't look at is, can I upgrade my towers? Or do I just... Oh! That was not very nice. Okay, I'm guessing I have to actually shoot that out of the sky before it does it, because... That was a little nuts. Please die. Woo. Okay, but our repairmen are doing their thing. Absolutely goaded. I want that plane to come back. I want to shoot it down. I wonder if I can even shoot it down. I'm guessing I can. Boom, boom, boom. See, I don't think I can shoot it down. That thing is that thing is a little too quick for me to shoot at. So I have my doubts that I can shoot that down. Okay. Go ahead and get. I really feel like these repairmen are super important. Oh, I can upgrade it. I didn't even know. Okay. Well, we're upgrading these stat fire rate. Let's go ahead and increase every single one's fire rate by three. Missiles. Let's get one more missile for each of them. Damage. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more damage for each of them. And then, screw it, we'll buy one more gunman. Okay. Yes. I I thought, I'm like, I should be able to upgrade to those missiles, right? I thought I could. I just didn't look. Let's definitely do that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, got her right before it hit. All right, you sky boys, get out of here. They're definitely those sky things are. Oh, boom! Are going to be a slight nuisance just because I have to move my cursor away from here, and this does a lot of damage. So those things aren't a threat. They're just they're just a, such a big distraction. I have to move my entire cursor away from the battlefield just to get them. But luckily they don't have much health. I can actually take them out fairly easily. Again, I don't I don't think I can I don't think I can destroy that plane. So I just have to keep up with my repairs really. Man, how long is... I wonder how long I can survive this. It's already been 40 minutes, actually. Well, we'll definitely try to get as far as humanly possible here. That's the point of playing these games, right? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, 36,000. Do I upgrade my wall? Is it time to upgrade my wall? Or do I just... Hmm... I think I want each of these up to a hundred. Yeah. And then another repairman. I think let's let's go ahead and upgrade to the wall. Now, like this next one. And then maybe we'll maybe we'll continue to buy a little bit more ammo for the machine gun. I also think that wouldn't be a terrible investment. Oh yeah, these this thing is going butter, dude. Oh, that hurt. It's okay, though. Our repairman repaired in, like, two seconds. No, no problem at all, my guy. No problem at all. Yeah, we definitely, like, gave ourselves, like, a, like an insurance policy with those repairmen that 
we can pretty screw up pretty bad and there's not very big consequences because they fix it so quickly another bunk but it's okay it doesn't matter Yeah, we're kind of nuts right now. And I wonder, it might actually be useful upgrades to get more missiles for those towers. I think that might be a worthwhile investment. Because each missile does quite a bit of damage, actually. I know it's pretty expensive. I definitely think it'll be worth it. I think the end of the day is here. Okay. Let's upgrade our wall. I promised myself. Oh, that wall is maxed. Okay, so there is a max. Let's go ahead and buy another repairman. Okay, so next we'll probably um, upgrade the missiles for each of the towers. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm glad I bought that then. So we're just now, we're at max health and we can go from here, you know. Now we can focus on buying other things. But it's nice to know that my health is the highest that it can go currently makes me feel quite a bit better no I didn't mean to let that hit but it's okay we're already back at full health no problemo I can't wait until the day where they just throw like seven of those trucks every second just because they can Woo. So another plane. I'm not going to let any super soldiers through. I also wonder when they're going to start throwing some real crazy things at me. Some like absolute just mecha. Something nuts. Because these stronger guys are... Oh, okay. That, I had to let that go through. Brum. We'll see. I am waiting for the next enemy type though, because I think the latest enemy type is that plane. But that plane isn't really an enemy, it's just something that <laughs> I guess happens. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do about that. That truck is a little scary, but even that truck only does technically 100 damage. Which isn't that scary actually. If you really think about it, it's really not that scary. Okay, um, what do, oh yes, what I told myself that I'm going to upgrade these towers, and give each of these another missile, I think I'm going to, let's upgrade the damage for each of these by a little bit, okay, and buy a couple more gunmen, and I think next round what we'll focus our money on is actually more repairmen, and then once we get a couple more repairmen, one more round of them, I'll probably end up upgrading my ammo more. I think that's I think that's the that's the plan. But so cause here's my deal. I might the farther and farther I go into the game, I might have to start focusing on these bigger enemies. I'm literally just gonna let my rockets handle the small guys. Like I don't need to handle the dudes with the knives anymore, right? Like there's no reason for me to aim at the dudes with the knives. My towers will get rid of them. I need to focus my aim on the outliers, the flyers, the bigger enemies, the trucks, the planes, stuff like that. I don't need to be aiming at the small guys. I'm just wasting my time and ammo if I do that. Okay, I keep shooting at the plane, but I don't. I, I think I can't shoot it down, so I'm going to probably stop doing that in a minute here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get some more repairmen. We're still technically fine. But I just want to cover my butt, you know. If we buy the repairman now, it's something that we don't really have to buy later. Which is always a useful thing. Okay, that's going to have to smash into the wall. And we're at full health. Look at that. Okay, again, I keep shooting at the plane knowing that I can't shoot it down. I don't know why I do that. Yeah, and so I haven't tried any of the other towers yet, but... This tower has to be nuts, right? Like, I picked the right one. It, it feels like it's the right one, considering 
we're on day 24 and we're really not having any trouble still. I feel like it's the correct one for sure. Okay, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, more repairmen. I wonder, I don't know what the max for repairmen is, but... Um, three more thousand. Okay, I can't buy anything. More gunmen. Ah, screw it. We just have a little bit of extra money. Although, I know it's a bad policy. If you have extra money, just spend it. I could technically put it towards the next round, but... I, I just, I don't understand why the repairmen are so expensive, and they don't really do much. So, it, it's, just, it's more just confusing to me. But, um... Oh! Ah, dang it. But we're getting so much money at this point. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I don't think it's something that I should worry about. Boom, 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 boom. Ouchie. Those repairmen are doing work, dude. Doing so much work. I wonder if there's a max repairman. I wonder if there's like a a limit we can hit with that. I guess we'll find out. But I think I told myself that this round I'm gonna put more money into ammo. I think that's what I said, so that's what I'm gonna plan on doing here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get to like 400 ammo. Woo! I just managed to snipe that one. I'm just gonna kind of just free fire up in this area. Yeah, so far so good. They actually we haven't really gotten in trouble yet. Like not even really close to getting in trouble. Okay. God, it's so expensive these upgrades now, which is kind of crazy. Get to 400 ammo. Let's increase the accuracy by one. Let's buy just a couple more gunmen, I guess. Okay, and I think we'll do more upgrades. I think the next round we'll end up upgrading all of these missiles and maybe their fire rates. I think those are pretty important to do. These these towers are just helping a lot, like an actual crazy amount. And I think it's really important to upgrade those. Especially, like, each missile is just doing so much damage, it's crazy. And really, like I said earlier, it's just helping with the small guys. I just almost don't have to worry about the small guys anymore because of it. Which is a great feeling that I can just focus on the real threats. Like those big guys and the flyers. And man, I, I'm, I don't have to... Stop shooting for quite a while each time, which also feels real good. Nope. You don't get to smash into my wall. No, sir. Also, is this... Is there 40... Am I, like, remembering... Or is this 40 days? Is there, like, a max amount of days that we have to survive? Is that a thing? Or is it 25 days? Wait, we're already past 25. Is it 30 days? I don't know, but I guess we'll figure it out. They're sending a lot of people at me. I feel like this is a bad investment, right? This has to be a bad investment. There, there must be something real valuable inside that house. I don't see any reason why you have to kill this many people just to try to get whatever's in there. And they've bombed me with a couple, probably trillion dollars worth of bombs already. Just also... Yeah, like, whatever's in there must be real useful. I don't know if it's, like, the, the key to immortality or something, but... Okay, let's go back here. Ooh, that's max. Okay, well, let's get each of these to max. And then... Let's increase their fire rate all by one. Let's see how many we can do. Okay, we can upgrade all their fire rates. Almost to max. Okay. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we'll once again maybe maybe I'll put a little bit more oh there's the tank that I'm talking about I knew it'd come eventually maybe we'll put in a little bit more money on the reload of the machine gun I think 
That that might it's gonna cost a lot of money, but I think that might be a worthwhile investment. Ooh, that thing does damage from real far away, don't it? Okay, well I got okay. Gotta be a little bit more careful now. Actually, I took quite a few hits there. Nowhere near close to death, but I took quite a few hits. So I, I gotta watch myself a little bit. And make sure that those big guys don't get through. Another tank. Boom, boom. Yeah. We're nuts. Ouch. Please do not do that. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to eat dinner. Got my, got my mac and cheese. Leave me alone. That mac and cheese ain't worth that much. I had some mac and cheese last night. It, it had spicy things in it, though. Alright, come on, end of the day. <laughs> I'm bored of this 9 to 5. Please, leave me alone. We got almost 50k at the end of this, though. That's a lot of money. Potentially put in some more repairmen? Question mark? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. We could do more repairmen, or we could shove a little bit of money into reload, which I think... Oh, we can also do the fight. Here, let's do damage. Okay, that damage is on 1.4. Let's put a little bit into the reload, huh? Let's do a little reload. Okay. I think I might not put end up I might not end up putting any more money into that reload until we get like real far cuz yeah. Let's see how fast that reload is now though cuz we did put in like another 50k into it. I'm hoping it's a notable difference here. The other thing we could do is buy a little bit more ammo and try to max out the ammo of the gun. Okay. Not the most horrible thing on the planet, but... Yeah. Fast enough for us to survive if something goes crazy, for sure. Yeah, because these things are just going to boom, 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 kill everything. And that tank, surprisingly, does not do that much damage, so... Ain't too worried about that. Yeah, I don't know at what point I just turned my <laughs> cam off and... This game's gonna take... A, we're already at almost an hour here, and we're at only day 28. But of course, if I can win the game, I'm gonna definitely try. So, guys, I'm just going to be 100% honest. If I start maybe going a little quiet from here on out... Dude, I've got other videos to record. I can't kill my voice with a two-hour recording of one game, so... I go a little quiet. You all know why. i got to save my voice. Also, I just have class later, which I seem to forget. I'm acting like this is my day off. I literally have class later. I do need to remember that. Bra, bra, bra. Okay, 56. 56. Hmm. I think more ammo is the right way to go here. Then maybe another repairman. Yeah, now the upgrades are getting slower and slower. But, man, f Ooh, there's a chopper. I'm guessing that thing is bad, right? Okay, we're going to have more tanks, more... Ch oh, they're, they're sending all things now. Tanks and choppers up the wazoo. Okay, here we go. No problem, I got you. Oop, I can't avoid either of those. Okay, I might need more repairmen. I saw us get down to, like, below 500 for a second there. Might need more repairmen. Okay, do I just max out my ammo and then go for more repairmen? 
I think I need more repairmen now, though. Yeah, let's just keep buying more repairmen. I think those repairmen are really going to keep me alive. I think that's really important for now. Because I think I'm, I'm going to start taking quite a bit of damage in between reloads very soon. I really need to be able to keep up with that. Especially if I just get like plowed by like three or four trucks at once. Because it's going to get hard. Like right there, boom, boom, you know. I have to be able to out-survive those. I think the repairmen are going to be very important. Because there's only so much I can do with the gun. There really is, you know. I'm going to try my best, but inevitably I'm going to... See, like right there, I'm going to take a lot of damage from these tanks here. And that thing. Presently, not a crazy amount, though. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, we're so close to maxing out that ammo. Um, Shoot, let's upgrade a little bit of this. Let's do some damage upgrades on these. You know, for one of them, we'll even increase the fire rate here. And a couple more gunmen, why not? I think one of these rounds, I'll absolutely juice up the gunmen with like 60k. But I do want to upgrade this machine gun to max ammo first so we'll we'll probably we'll just stick our money there in a second and then we'll play another day and then maybe juice up the gunman then why oh what's going on oh i'm in trouble i'm in a little bit of trouble here i'm in a little bit of trouble i don't know why that guy is stuck there that i think that might be a glitch because that guy is just sitting there. And I don't know why. Alright, I'm in, I'm in a slight bit of trouble here. I'm a little behind. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Just... <laughs> we're fine. I'm just confused at what that guy is doing over there. It's gotta be a glitch. Is that guy glitched here too? I think I have two glitches. There's two guys glitched. Let's just try to kill these tanks. Get these out of the way. Make sure they can't cause me any more trouble. The problem is I keep aiming at that guy. not And then I'm aiming at him. Instead of aiming at real people. Which is slightly annoying. But oh well. Yeah those... Those rockets, are, I think, are causing a little bit of the lag. But what are you going to do, you know? Hopefully they go away once we reset the days. I think they should. I don't know, are these tanks getting tougher? I don't think they are. The game is also slowing down, which is actually... Somewhat useful in a lot of aspects, but Okay, I think let's just get it over with I'm just gonna do that upgrade and now we just don't have to deal with it anymore back to the towers And we can buy a couple of the final upgrades here So we really just need to change we just need to upgrade some of the fire rates on these and Then maybe some more repairmen and yeah, I think we're, we're doing pretty good right now Let's just keep it going Okay, 74. I guess let's go ahead and finish the upgrades on these just because those are a little easier to do. Okay, so these are all maxed now. My wall is maxed. Oh, let's actually repair that. Why not? It's only $100. 
Um, hmm. Do I pump money into Gunman's now? Or do I... I think I might pump a little money into Reloads, too. Let's just go one more round. Let's maybe... Let's stack our cheddar for a moment here. Let's go one more round and see if we can just get a whole lot of money. And then maybe we can ball out on some uh, Gunman here. Because right now we're doing fine. Okay, there we go. 120k. Do we just ball out with the gunman here? Or do we... You know what? I think it's... Let's just go ahead and finish that reload. I think that's going to be real important. So, our towers are maxed. Our gun is basically maxed except the accuracy. But I almost don't want to fix the accuracy. I think having a wide circle to shoot from kills like a lot of things. I almost like don't want to upgrade that. So, here's what we're going to do. I think I want to do it one more time where I just like save up money and then I just buy a whole poop ton of gunmen. I think that's going to be good. Let's just do that. Hundred and thirty two. Let's just buy a whole bunch of gunmen here. And I don't think they'll make much of a difference, but let's just hold let's just buy a few. Alright, we bought I think like what 40, 50 something gunmen. Let's see if they make a difference. <clears throat> I don't think they will, but let's see. And next we're definitely gonna be going towards um let's see, do they kill a lot? I think it's just my towers. We'll definitely go towards more repairmen now. They're each about 10k, so they're expensive. But I definitely think that... Oh! Big Mecha! That's what I thought. I'm like, when's a Big Mecha coming? Okay, that's not even that strong. I killed it in about two seconds. Okay, well... There's the big bag at, big bad enemy. Unless, I don't know if there's like something absolutely gigantic at like round 40 that like takes like two clips. Actually, well, if this thing comes often, then it actually is slightly scary. Because it does take about a quarter of the... Eh, maybe like half a quarter of a clip. So, okay. Yeah, okay. I can see how that's scary. I guess what I don't know is when it gets up close, how much damage does it do? Because if it's something that does like a lot of damage, then yeah, that can be a little scary. Okay, so we made over 100k just that one. So, like I said, I think the next logical step is just more repairmen, right? The more repairs I get, the better. And we're almost coming out max here. You know what I might do? I could buy these guns. But, like, why? I'm not going to use them. I don't think I will. There's just no reason to, right? Maybe I'll upgrade the accuracy. I just, I don't think actually the accuracy is that useful. Maybe I'm wrong. I just don't particularly think it's that useful. Like, here, like, I'm gonna shoot what I want, really. Maybe I'll upgrade the accuracy a little bit. But I'm kinda happy with what it does, to be honest. Maybe I'll upgrade it a little bit.
Okay, so we're almost at the end here. I think let's go ahead and upgrade the accuracy. Oh, that was it. Really? Okay. Well, that wasn't nearly as expensive as I thought it would be. Fair enough. So what do we even have to upgrade anymore? We can't buy more tower slots, right? Our gun is completely maxed out. There's not much to buy left other than, I guess, let's just keep spamming repairmen and gunmen. And as far as that's concerned, we're almost maxed. So I don't know if day 40 is something I just made up or if that's actually the true end here, but... Ooh, and this accuracy is kind of nice because it's still not crazy accurate. So I can still shoot things behind it on accident like I want to. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind it. Ooh, they're throwing out big things now and a lot of them. We got two of these things now? Okay, level 37, 128, more repairmen, right? I, I think that is the way to go. I think the gunmen are, maybe I'll put a little bit of money in a gunman. Gunmen are like, not that useful to be honest. They just don't do much. But maybe I'm underestimating them at the same time. I don't really know. All right, we're, we, in one round, we made $150,000. That's kind of nuts. Well, I wonder what we're buying. Let's buy some gunmen. They're going to get quite expensive here, but we hit a hunt. We hit over a hundred gunmen now. Look at us go. Day 40. Okay, so this is the, is there more than day 40? I think there, I don't know why I seem to think there isn't, but there has to be, right? I guess we'll figure it out.
Yo! Okay! I actually managed to die. Day 44. I. Wow, I didn't actually think I would die there. I thought I would last a little while, but, um, hey! Round 44 on easy. There we go. Alright, guys, I'm like an hour and 40 into recording. I actually ate a sandwich while I was doing those last couple ones. I'm done for today. I'm going to go ahead and play another game, guys. Thanks for watching.